Good morning. You watched that beautiful winter scene as the show opens. I think a lot of us are wishing for some snow in 2022. It would be nice to have uh, some beautiful weather to enjoy out there. But the fact is in the Tennessee Valley, so often our days are kind of filled in the wintertime with some gloomy weather and the holidays have come and gone and you can feel a little bit low maybe as you go into the month of January. So this morning we thought we would kick things off with some promise for you. Charles Miller, a frequent guest of ours here on 3 Plus U, has scenic city neurotherapy and he says no you're not crazy this time of year can be stressful for all of us good morning good morning thanks for having me you know there i'm glad to have you there really is such a thing as seasonal depression it does not mean that you are weak it's just that by human nature we need that sunshine and beautiful weather to keep us stimulated oh absolutely it's this time of year you know we don't get the typical white christmas with every, with all of the beautiful things that surround you know uh the holiday, we get kind of a gray, rainy, cold uh, weather here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's, you know, a small concession to live in such a beautiful place, but uh, it's it takes its toll on people. People have a really hard time with this dark gray all the time, and I think a lot of people don't even recognize how much it affects them until they end up in a place where they're struggling. So what you do at Scenic City Neurotherapy is you have a way of helping people, whether it is seasonal depression, whether it is a more exacerbated um, form of depression or anxiety might be caused from a trauma in your life or uh, a recent divorce, something like that. But you use this ketamine infusion to help people not necessarily cure it, but get strengthened to then find the cure on their own. Absolutely, and that's, that's really the best pathway to what we call a remission of depressive symptoms, meaning that we don't make you feel better, we make you feel things in a better way, make you better able to recognize your triggers, better able to uh, move yourself forward, working with your counselors, your mental health providers. Uh, it's just one thing we can add to your process to make you the better version of you. I, I don't pretend to understand what your clients feel, but if you're someone who loves a person struggling with a, a mental uh, illness at the moment it can be hard if you don't suffer the same thing to really put yourself in their shoes is it kind of like if you were to fall and really really skin your knee uh, and it burns and it hurts really bad and someone's telling you just quit kicking your leg so that I can put this treatment on there it hurts so bad at the moment you can't quit kicking your leg mm -hmm. is it kind uh, of like a, that? yeah that's it's that's a good analogy um, yeah, it's, it's a lot like, you know, I, I use the knee replacement a lot. I, like, you know, it's, it's, there's something structurally wrong. And, you know, that's what we've learned about mood disorders is that it's far more physiologic than we've ever given it credit in the past. Um, if this was a thinking problem, you would have thought your way out by now. Unfortunately, that's not the case. This is more of an neuronal injury, and we can explain that further. That's a lot, you know, it's, it's a whole bunch to explain, but that's one of the reasons we do our no-cost consultation, so patients can come in and learn about this firsthand, for, you know, straight from the horse's mouth, per se. Okay, let's talk a little bit about what you do, because I've talked to you so many times, I can forget that people watching this morning might be hearing you for the first time. So uh -huh. you are uh, a nurse anesthetist by training, right? That's and, my background, yeah. And what you are using is ketamine, which in, is a, high, a common form of anesthesia, especially in pediatric patients, so it's tested and safe. It is. It's the safest of our anesthetics. It's used in, from ch with children six months and older. Um, it does have a lot of stigma around it. A lot of people have an idea about what it is, but it is first and foremost a children's anesthetic. So you're not giving it in an, in an anesthetic form to your patients, right? It's an infusion that they're getting. It's an infusion, slowly infused. It's a, it's a very low dose, and so the patient's always aware and in control. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, you well, and just, just from our experience and just from the way the literature states how this should be administered, there's too little and too much. And so it's very important that you do this correctly to get the appropriate therapeutic dose. And so that's our job as anesthesia providers is to administer anesthetics appropriately, safely, and effectively. So how does it work exactly? Because I know you also are able to use this for people 
who have chronic pain, fibromyalgia is an example. So how does this work exactly? So using fibromyalgia as an example, we see exacerbation with physical pain with fibromyalgia, with, but it has a strong emotional connection, meaning that increased emotional stress will usually cause the pain to worsen over time. Um, and it's what we do is it's called a neuropathic pain disorder, meaning that the brain is sending an inappropriate pain signal. But, and what we do, we don't deal with just say depression or anxiety. We optimize the way the brain communicates. So I tell people, don't think of this like a mood disorder treatment. Think of it like a brain optimization treatment. When we optimize the way the brain communicates, we don't just see the mood improve and the coping strategies actually start working better. We see, you know, certain neuropathic pain disorders start to resolve or at least go into a state of remission for a period of time to where the patient can improve their day-to-day -day quality of life, which is the overall goal. Okay, so we talk a lot about brain training uh, now in American culture. We all, I think, understand that you can, you can teach your brain new ways to, to process, as you say, at any age. So is that why you do the repetitive treatments? Because I think you do this over a course of like six to eight weeks for people. So as they go through the procedures, it strengthens their brain to kind of rewire a little bit? Well, it, it, each time we do this, we trigger the brain's natural process of self-optimization. The ketamine itself is not, has no antidepressant properties or anti-anxiolytic um, properties in itself. It's, that's not what it's used for. We use it as a catalyst. We trigger, it triggers your brain's natural process to self-optimize. And it does that through a series of, of events that, you know, it gets a little, gets a little thick from the neuroscience perspective, but it's, um, it is our, it is one of our natural built-in mechanisms to optimize ourselves. And so we just trigger that process using the ketamine as the catalyst. We actually do that as well with uh, transcranial magnetic stimulation, which is a non-pharmacological a non way of doing this. So there's no medications given. We actually use a very light electromagnetic stimulation to trigger this process. But uh, whether you use the TMS pathway or the ketamine pathway to trigger this protein release in the brain that optimizes the brain, um, either way stimulates improved neuronal communication, which then leads to the clearer and more functional way of thinking okay, real as quick, well as, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. I have like a minute left real quickly, but that's why then that you work in conjunction with psychologists and therapists, because depending on how much work you're willing to put into it to further that self-optimization, the farther along the pathway you get. Absolutely. It's, we deal with the wiring, but then you've got to tell the wires and the, and, and the new brain cells and all of this new neuronal communication where to go. Okay. I think that I'm right that your consultations, which you love to educate people, are at no charge, correct? Absolutely. They, they last about an hour. You get me or, or one of our other providers uh, undivided attention for a full hour. Um, we don't charge anything. There's no, you know, some places they'll say free consultation, but they'll actually need free consultation if you sign up today. We, mm. It's across the board free. It's just education. Okay. Anyone that wants to learn. So if you're feeling a little bit blue going into 2022, I didn't mean for the play on words there, but there you go. Uh, they, you can give them a call. It's Scenic City Neurotherapy, the phone number 228 0579, 0579 online at sceniccityneurotherapy.com and watch for him. Thankfully for us, he is a frequent guest here on 3 Plus U. He and his wife and his whole staff so believe in what they do and they would love to educate you on the benefits for you or someone you love. Thank you, Charles. Thank you.